Do you ever feel like you could use some help approaching God in your prayers? The Memorare, at its core, is a simple plea for Mary's intercession in our lives. Saint Maximilian Kolbe reminds us, our dependence on Mary is greater than we can imagine. We are always welcome to ask his mother to help us. In fact, this delights our Lord. This short, yet powerful prayer is composed of just 78 words. By breaking down each sentence of this prayer, we can better understand its impact and powerful punch felt in every word. The opening line, Never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided, graciously and appropriately venerates Mary, by acknowledging her perpetual intercessory role in God's graces. Keep in mind again, that when we pray to Mary, we also pray through her to her divine Son, Jesus. And she is happy to pray for us and to intercede with him on our behalf. This acknowledgement is also an act of adoration of God, another critical part of every personal prayer. The Memorare also touches on confession and prayer. It incorporates contrition into its Marian cry with the line, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. These two sentences make the Memorare a fitting Marian prayer for both times of adoration of our Lord and in contrite sorrow for our sins. We are admitting that we are sinners and we are asking for Mary's assistance because our hearts desire her consolation in grieving our sorrow for sin. While containing these two crucial elements of prayer, both adoration and contrition. The Memorare is primarily used as a prayer of supplication for specific intentions. In the closing sentence, our appeal to Mary is where we make known our personal intentions or petitions. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Here we may state our specific intentions after we recite the Memorare prayer. Due to its power and simplicity, it is often the prayer chosen for emergency prayer groups or large organized prayer campaigns when asking for a special favor according to God's will. A brief history of the Memorare prayer and how the early saints used it. The prayer receives its title the Memorare from the Latin word for remember which begins the prayer. The Memorare is commonly known as a prayer to the Blessed Virgin in 17th century France, even though it originated in the 12th century. Our modern version was completed by Pope Pius IX in 1846. The actual author is unknown. While mistakenly attributed to Father Claude Bernard, he undoubtedly helped popularize the Memorare. Known as the Poor Priest, he had great devotion to Our Lady under the title Comforter of the Afflicted, and promoted recourse to her intercession among the poor and prisoners condemned to death. He used the Memorare extensively in this work, and many prisoners were reconciled to God through his efforts. He had once been seriously ill and in fear for his life, had prayed the Memorare fervently, and believed that his recitation of the prayer led to his miraculous healing. Attributing his immediate recovery to the Memorare, he printed and distributed an estimated 200,000 copies of the prayer in multiple languages during his lifetime. These leaflets spread far across the European continent, which contributed to its popularity, which, at the time, was no small feat, without access to publishers and the internet. Another legend of the prayer's origin is often attributed to St. Bernard of Clairvaux, a 12th century Cistercian monk who had great devotion to Our Lady, but this is now regarded as unlikely. The Memorare's popularity continued to grow, and it is known that St. Francis de Sales prayed it often, the 17th century Bishop of Geneva, who developed a great reputation as a writer, preacher, and debater in defense of the Catholic faith. He credited Our Lady with saving him from falling into despair or heresy. He recited the Memorare every day and also always wore the miraculous medal. 
A more modern-day saint, Mother Teresa, also attested to its power and taught those in most need to recite it. The recitation of this plea keeps in the great tradition, popularized by Father Claude Bernard, and in line with the prayers of Saints Francis de Sales and Mother Teresa, putting us in great company while praying it. It is often recited after saying the rosary, and in addition to the Salve Regina, said after the rosary. In closing, let us recite this beautiful and powerful prayer to our Blessed Mother. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen.